going on everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. We've got some really cool stuff going on in this episode. We are building a retaining wall, a bunch of other really cool stuff. So make sure you hit subscribe, stay tuned. Appreciate that. Just trying to do my part, help out, you know. Whatever I can do to help the team. Be an asset. I don't want to be a liability. So we're having a little bit of a bump out on our walkway here because you can see we've got some plumbing ran here for an outdoor shower that's going to go in a little bit later. So we just wanted to shift the walkway over a tiny bit. We also obviously need to get to this door. So we're changing the direction of the slabs to go into the door. We're going to have a border on the outside and that's going to create that bump out. And then we're going to use some of this Mika right in here. So we got a nice shower floor. It's all gonna be permeable, so uh, it's gonna be set up real nice. Decided to do a little herringbone here, you know? Figured, uh, why not? Add a little detail here, separate it. You know, define the space a little bit. Oh, it broke, didn't it? Not even hammering it. Gotta be careful. It does sound like a good one. To be fair, it does sound good. <laughs> it was above the clouds. I couldn't even see it. It looks less cloudy over here, though. Let's see. Mystery plane. Oh well. <laughs> what? They're everywhere and nowhere all at the same time. All right, back to the patio. So we got a nice little detail going on here, and uh, we got some cuts to make now. So we'll get those in, and I think it's. Just enough to set this part off, add a nice little detail, but not be too bold and jump out at you. Patio Daddio. So, Catherine. What you doing? We got a scribe. We have to scribe a deck board to the stone facade here. Ooh. Um, I got one done already, so I got my gears going, a little oiled up. I'm gonna explain to you how I go about it, my approach. First thing I do is I like to screw my deck board so I have a consistent reveal at the top and the bottom. So right now I'm sitting at an inch and three quarters at the top and an inch and three quarters off the bottom. I wanna maintain a quarter inch reveal for my screens, so that tells me I need to take about an inch and a half of material out on my scribe. One of the hardest things to do dealing with these decorators deck board is a pencil doesn't really mark nice. So I'm gonna go and throw some painter's tape on it so I can get a good pencil line. So what you gotta do is you gotta take your compass, set it to the depth 
that you want to take the material out. So I'm sitting at about an inch and a half, a little heavy. So that means I'll, I'll make sure I leave my pencil line. You need to maintain like 90 degrees. You can't be like this because whatever this part of the compass is touching, that's what the pencil is going to trace to. So you want to make sure you stay about 90 degrees um, and then just take your time because you only get one chance to make a mark and that's your cut. So that's my cut. Take a good pan of it. Now we cut it. This is when scribing gets a little bit difficult. It's a lot of walking back and forth to where your piece needs to go. So I'm gonna, I know this piece isn't gonna fit nice. There's a lot of variables that come into play, but I'm gonna put it up there just so I can get an idea of what cuts I can fix now, and then uh, go back to back cutting and getting all the back material off. Stop. So this is cut one, one of many. As you can see, it's not sitting that tight. But I do see the reveal at the shape of the stone. It, look, it looks pretty consistent. Also, my reveal at the top and the bottom is still sitting pretty consistent. So what the hard part about scribing is, when I scribe, I'm only touching one part of the stone. The stone, the shape of the stone goes back. So I'm hitting parts of the stone that I need to take all this material out. Um, I'll show you a couple ways how I go about that. Take your jigsaw upside down, put it on an angle, and just cut it out. As you can see, I'm relieving some of the material on the back for the stone. I mean, you're gonna see how much we do this whole thing. As you can see, I was able to relieve some more material on the back, but I still need to do more. So another method that I'll go to, as you can see, I'll use my planer. The trick is don't go too much because you only get one shot at this cut. Stay tuned. So as you can see from the previous fit, it's starting to get a little bit closer. Um, I'm still happy with my reveal that I'm seeing. I still have a consistent reveal on this side. Um, I think I'm just gonna need one more go at it and I'll show you that cut. My goal is to get all this material gone. Now with what we have on a job site tool wise and what this material is made of, my best option is a table saw. I highly recommend you do not do this. I am a paid professional. It's very dangerous, but I feel comfortable. I can still count to 10. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it on and I'm gonna follow the shape of what I cut. I'm gonna go extremely slow, extremely careful, and I'll show you what it does. With doing just that little section, you can see all that material I'm gonna be taking out. This is potentially material that is hitting my stone that is keeping me off so it doesn't look real nice and tight. This cut takes a while. Check back later. I'll show you the fit. It's tough. It is kind of a mullet. It's more mullet-y for sure. Hello. <laughs> what are you feeding it? Uh, snail banana nut bread. They seem to like it. Beggars can't be choosers. They're so cute. They are really cute. Oh. Super cute. Alright, I'm, I'm getting to the end of the banana bread here, guys. Hi ducks, thanks for visiting. So, after you scribed it, you've cut it, you've checked it, you cut it again, you cut it again, then you check it again, and then you cut it one more time, this is what you end up with.
Hope that helps. Try your best. It's time for the part in the vlog where I say, okay, that's it for this one. You're gonna have to wait till the next one till we get into the retaining wall and a bunch of other really cool finishing details. So make sure you hit subscribe, stay tuned, and until next time, this is Premier Outdoor Living. Time in the vlog for um, when we say the vlog's over this time. <laughs> Kevin, it's time for the part where we say that everyone's gonna have to wait, the vlog's over. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna make for a good blooper reel. <laughs>